Il glaucoma acuto, a differenza del suo fratello più grande, acute glaucoma, unlike its older brother, chronic simple glaucoma, is a glaucoma that is silent for most of the time. That is, most of the time, the patient has no symptoms of any kind. This means that glaucoma occurs in patients who are mostly asymptomatic for what concerns the pressure of the eye and all the other ocular pathologies. Therefore, it occurs in a patient who has nothing. This is one of the characteristics. Prevention is very important, and the ophthalmologist recognizes this. Acute glaucoma is an important event. It is one of the few eye urgencies that exist, together with retinal detachment, thrombosis, and some other vascular pathology, as well as traumatic, and which occur suddenly after stress, after an installation of drops to dilate the pupil, after anesthesia, or a situation in which the patient's adrenergic tone is particularly high. The pupil dilates and the iris crowds the iridocorneal angle. And what does it mean? It means that the eye with acute glaucoma is very small. It has no space. The space inside the eye is reduced and the dynamics of the pupil with the movement of the iris is spoiled by this reduction of space and can cause crowding of the corner which is filled by the iris tissue and the liquid can no longer get out of the eye. Not being able to get out of the eye anymore, there is an acute rise in pressure and it has very high values. Let's say that from a normal pressure of 16 millimeters of mercury, you can get to an acute glaucoma attack even at 50 to 60 millimeters of mercury. The eye with 60 millimeters of internal pressure of mercury is hard as a golf ball, so red, the pupil is half dilated and does not react, and the patient begins to have important symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, headache, photophobia, and restlessness. This leads him to the eye emergency room where a diagnosis of acute glaucoma is made and what was needed to be done much earlier in a protected outpatient setting is done. And this is acute glaucoma therapy. Acute glaucoma therapy consists of making a hole inside the iris, and this hole can be made with a YAG laser or surgically, so the patient must be taken to the operating room. Of course, this preventive hole in the iris should be done in conditions of a quiet eye with normal pressure, with a non-inflamed eye, and with a calm patient. This is to say that all this should be done first. Instead, sometimes we find ourselves having to do it in an eye emergency room when the situation has gotten out of hand. In this case, there was therefore a problem of prevention. The patient who went to the ophthalmologist was not diagnosed with a state of anatomical predisposition to have the attack of acute glaucoma. Acute glaucoma occurs only in the case of a particular anatomical predisposition. When the front of the eye is particularly small, this occurs especially in farsightedness and in patients with swollen lens due to cataracts. So, the farsighted patient, perhaps 60, 70, or 80 years old with a major cataract is certainly at risk of having an acute glaucoma attack. In an ophthalmologic clinic, it is necessary to make the appropriate diagnostics and then see the state of the eye under the slit lamp that is, with a microscope. The ophthalmologist must suspect the possibility of reduced satiety and then, if necessary, perform appropriate tests. The appropriate exams are gonioscopy, that is, the study of the iridocorneal angle done in a traditional way or done, even better, with modern methods. 
which are the corneal topographer equipped with a camera or the corneal topographer equipped with OCT. With these methods, a precise diagnosis can be made and an iconography can be given to the patient as proof of what you are saying. Then the photo of the eye is shown with the reduced space, the narrow angle, and the iris crowding the cornea and closing it. The patient with these tests may decide to do or not to do a prophylactic laser treatment. The message is the eye examination must be carried out in depth and if necessary undergo a topographical examination that highlights the state of the iridocorneal angle. At this point, if the iridocorneal angle is at risk, therefore it is narrow, it is necessary to undergo iridectomy with a laser. The other, more radical solution is to remove the lens and once the patient is operated on for a cataract, the risk goes to zero because the plastic lens is much smaller than the human lens. So, if a patient with a risk of acute glaucoma attack has cataracts and the cataract must be removed in a short time, it is necessary to undergo iridectomy because if the patient is operated on for cataracts the week after, you can put eye drops to narrow the pupil while waiting for the surgery and therefore there is no risk.